All right. Okay. I'll watch it when I can see it. Cool. Sounds good. I'm starting too soon. There you go. You can refresh it. it. Should be live. Oh. Hi, everyone. I think we are live. Oh, yeah, I see it. We're live. <laughs> There are 22 people watching right now. Welcome to the second ever Plants in Jars live stream. Last week was super fun and we tier ranked popular rare house plants, like super rare expensive plants that cost like tens of thousands of dollars. And I had a really fun time. I was nervous for that stream before we started, but it made me want to do more live streams. So we're back. <laughs> Antonio says, hello from Tennessee. Hello, Antonio from Tennessee. Hi from Canada, says Mandy. Hello, Mandy. <laughs> um, people are here from Delaware. Hello, welcome, everyone. Matt says, plants and jar me. Hey, Matt. <laughs> and he also said first, but he wasn't first. Anyway, <laughs> today I just want to go through some nurseries that I like to peruse. And I'm always looking at plants to buy by myself, but I thought a fun idea for the live stream would be to look at some plants live together with you guys and also get some recommendations too for what you guys want to see me tissue culture on the channel. Today I actually did some TC work. I have a philodendron red Anderson, um, a variegated one that I tissue cultured today in a still air box, actually. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to do more still airbox videos because I think they're more accessible for people. And I'm still going to do a lot with the laminar flow hood too, but I think it's fun to show how you can actually use a still airbox to do it. And then, of course, we have the Thai constellation. <laughs> um, but people are getting tired of these, so pretty soon I think I'm going to have to retire the Thai constellations. R.I.P. Rip. Yeah. Alicia says, I love rare plant fairy. Me too, <laughs> Alicia. Um, someone says, why do expensive plants usually have cuts in the leaves? I noticed this with crossed tomatoes and stuff. I'm not familiar with rare tomatoes. I actually uh -huh. didn't know that that was a thing. I don't, I'm not super knowledgeable about agricultural crops. I know a lot more about tropical plants that people keep as houseplants. Um, but when it comes to monsters and philodendrons, a lot will have fenestrations, I, but... I've never seen a tomato plant with fenestrations. Maybe that is a thing, though. Casey says, I'm excited to see you where you like to shop from. Awesome. So I'm just going to start going through Rare Plant Fairy. Oh, before I get into, before I get into that, this week I, um, I filmed a Mary Stem culture video, which is a method of tissue culture that allows you to take a mother plant that has a virus and then clone it by its Mary stem, which is a really small piece of tissue at the tip of a growing shoot. Or roots have Mary stems too, but it's easier to use the shoots because they're cleaner, obviously, than the roots would be. So um, I filmed that this week. I might refilm it though. I was planning to make it live tomorrow. It's finished. But I mistakenly call viruses a disease like <laughs> 50 different times. And I know I'm going to get clowned on for it, so I'm thinking about just reshooting the entire thing and fixing that because I feel a little silly. Mm. You got to fix that. Can't be posting videos of errors. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> People will get mad. That's why your videos take so long to make. People may not realize it, but she spends so <laughs> many hours editing them and getting them ready. It's, it's like people suggest videos all the time, but it takes forever to make these things. So. <laughs> They're fun to make, though. I enjoy it for yeah. sure. It's cool. It's fun work. Yeah. yeah. Cornelia says, why are Hoya tissue cultures rare? Hoyas grow super slow in tissue culture. They can be tissue cultured, but you don't see it very often because they don't grow very quickly in TC. And I had always kind of assumed that Hoyas were just slow to grow in general. I used to live in Wisconsin, and that's where I sort of started building my plant collection near Milwaukee. But then um, once I moved down to Florida, I realized that it turns out plants do actually grow pretty fast <laughs> when they're in super humid conditions. So Hoyas grow really fast where I live. I don't know why they grow so slow in tissue culture. And it's also, if you do want to TC Hoyas, 
it is hard to find protocols for them from my experience. Carlos says, hello from Brazil. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. You ever modified jeans? No, I haven't tried that. Um, Jean Splicer. <laughs> yeah. I did film an update on the Firefly Petunia, which was the glow-in-the-dark plant. That video didn't do that well, but recently it's been getting a lot more views because they just shipped out the first pre-order shipment. I had gotten mine a few weeks early to be able to make the video. Um, it wasn't a sponsored video. They just sent me the plants early for an unbiased review. And now they're sending out the plants to the people who actually ordered them. So I think more people are searching it because all the views on that video are coming from just people Google searching, which is really unusual for me. Casey says that's one of the reasons lives are so nice, minimal work after the setup, and you can get direct interaction with the community. Yes, 100% agree. Very cool. It's fun too. It is fun. I really enjoyed the stream last week. That's why we came to do it again this week. Yeah. yeah. We wanted to do it last night, but I was busy from like 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. doing my MBA orientation. So I was so drained I couldn't do it last night. So yeah. I'm sorry if anyone wanted to do it last night. I think normally we're going to do them on Fridays, but our schedule's about to get kind of weird because we we have our Japan trip coming up pretty soon. So if I do order plates tonight, which I think I might, I will probably ship them to my brother's apartment <laughs> and then he'll have to take care of them until we get back. Um, but I was shocked. So I already looked at the first page of Rare Plant Fairy because I couldn't control myself while I was waiting for the stream to start. So I've seen a few of these plants already. Um, but I was shocked because I really liked this Homolomena, which I still have trouble saying. And I think in the last stream, I was dissing Homolomenas really bad. But the coloration on this one, I actually find very, very pretty. It's almost it, rusted in a way. Do I find it $700 pretty? Maybe not, but um, I definitely prefer this one to the pink diamond, which was the one I think I was saying I didn't like in the last stream. But Rare Plant Fairy is really cool. They're located out of Detroit, and they have a really great Instagram account, too, that I like to follow. Do they tissue culture their plants, or are they... So they sell tissue culture plants. I thought they did tissue culture, and... I made a video a, a few months ago, maybe, about somaclonal variation, and um, I had assumed that they were doing the tissue culture because the plant I was talking about was the Anthurium Delta Force, which is a very rare Anthurium, uh, a hybrid of two different Anthuriums. Um, but afterwards, I think they messaged me. Someone messaged me and was like, actually, Rare Plant Fairy didn't do that tissue culture. They're just selling the plants. Yeah. So I'm not sure if they do the tissue culture themselves ever or not. Um, Tori, uh, Tori says, Rare Plant Fairy sells in vitro TC in live auctions on the Plant Story app. Oh. Do you know what that is? I've heard of Plant Story. I've never used it. Mm -hmm. I like Monstera X, which is the other website I also have pulled up over here. Um, that I was showing a little bit last time too, but I haven't used Plant Story. Can I use it if I don't have an account? About to find out. Because I'd love to see the TC plants that they're selling. Is it a phone thing only? Search. Um. Can I search? Am I on the right website, guys? <laughs> no plants. Maybe if you search, search like Monstera or something simple and see what comes up. I feel like I'm on the wrong website. I mean, what the heck? This just feels like an AI website. <laughs> <laughs> um, they do. They have a tissue culture lab and do live interviews with their lab tech as well on there. It's just a free thing. Oh, like Lori says. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here's see all listings. Okay, we we. Okay. I take back what I said about it being an AI website <laughs> of AI written blog articles. It's it's not. It's real. Drusifer says, I think it's only an app thing. Oh. Know. It looks like you can do something. Maybe auctions are on the app only or something. I could see that. That's kind of crazy. There's a whole app just for this. There's multiple because there's Monstera X too. Wow. Although, I don't know if they have an app for Monstera X or if it's just a website. I'll use the phone app, yeah. Hmm. The price reality checks, lol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
Someone, Casey said he's not a fan of the rusted color of, are you talking about the homolomena? They were talking about the one that you said that you were kind of hating on it, but now you like it. Oh. Dis- on a... Disagree. Sorry, Casey. Ah. <laughs> Wait one sec. So opinionated. I have to have strong opinions about plants. It's my That's job. True. It's your whole thing. Um, Tori said she got a TC philodendron patriciae from a live auction. And Mello says the Delta Forces are going down in price a lot within Europe. Agreed. I see that in the United States, too. I wonder, I know Rare Plant Fairy had some. I don't know if they still do. Let's look at their anthuriums. Luxurians, Platinum, Crystallanum. I have a Crystallanum, but I don't know if it's like a specific lineage or not. Probably not. I, I think like I, that one. You don't like that one? This one? Mm-hmm. I have almost the same exact oh, plant. Oh, okay, okay. No need yeah, to hide again. Yeah, there's one sitting right outside. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know all the plants in our house. There's too many. To be fair, Anthuriums all do look a little bit similar. Mm. Um, I didn't really have an appreciation for Anthuriums until recently. Um, I was just looking at Doc Block's Instagram account, who is... I think he's a physician actually, and he hybridizes tons of different anthuriums and he's really well known for super dark velvety anthuriums with kind of red veining on the leaves. Actually they look, I can't point because it's going to change, but they look like this one on the left over here. I don't know if that's one of his or not, but um, that's kind of like the look of the anthurium that he's known for. Okay, here's a Delta Force, $695, so that's basically the same price that I was seeing last time I looked. So are they less than that in Europe? Maybe it would be cheaper for me to find one in Europe to buy, actually. I've imported um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards from Europe before using a proxy service where you set up like a mailbox in Germany and stuff gets shipped to the thing in Germany and then they ship it to you. But it might be a bad idea for plants because it took a long time for that. The problem with plants is that a lot of the times you need a phytosanitary certificate. So, uh, uh, like internationally. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, uh, plants usually coming into the United States have to go through customs. And I think certain other countries, maybe in the EU, have even more hardcore regulations with importing plants. That makes sense. Although, I do find that the EU, like, I, so I love begonia, so I'm always searching begonia related things. And it always feels like the EU has much lower prices for rare plants than the U.S. does. And I don't know why that is. Can anyone explain that? (laughs) I saw some people over from Europe in the chat. Someone was from Germany. Can the Europeans please sound off in the chat? (laughs) People are saying the app is free. I'm going to get the app next time and we'll take a look at it. Maybe we can stream from our phone, like onto the PC somehow, figure that out. I'm sure we could do it. Cornelia says Kaylee Ellen gets the OG Delta Force T seed. Kaylee Ellen's T C video was, I think, probably the first tissue culture video I ever saw. She did like a Breaking Bad themed video with the still air box. That's fun. Years ago. That's she's fun. she's really cool. I think she's Irish. She has this really cute accent. Um yeah, Timo Timo Ba. Ta-na. <laughs> Yo, are we ever going to understand mushrooms? I keep hearing people say we don't know so much about them. Like to run experiments, would like your two cents on fungi. So I, I am growing some mushrooms right now. I have lion's mane and blue oysters growing. And they are currently on a plate of agar and honey. And they're colonized. The mycelium is colonizing the plate. So I have to wait for the mycelium to finish colonizing the agar and then I think I dump it into like some sterile grain I don't know I need to research the next step before before I do it um <laughs> rare plant fairy is becoming an official doc block distributor what's, that's interesting what's I didn't doc know that. block for us uninitiated people um doc block is the anthurium hybridizer that I was talking about before so he uh oh the one with the instagram yeah. Oh yeah, you were Googling him earlier. Oh, I've never been on his website. I've only, I follow him on Instagram. Oh wow. He looks different than I remember. <laughs> he has a cool site. I like his website. Yeah, he has a, I mean, he's very famous in the plant growing world. That's so cool. 
This website doesn't have a lot going on here. Oh. I love his HTML website. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, there you go. Okay, we got some pictures. Some yeah, so this is what I was kind of talking about. Like these dark Meet the leaves. Video oh, it's a video. Meet, meet it, meet it. These dark leaves with the kind of red veining. That's pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. I don't know where he's located. I don't think he's in the United States. How much are these? Uh, <laughs> they a lot. It depends. Yeah. I think, um, but like his newer, he comes out with new hybrids pretty much every year. Oh, okay. So the newer they are, I would think the more expensive they would tend to be. Because they've been like not cloned or tissue cultured at that point? Yeah, um, are you not supposed to tissue culture them? Is that a thing he like writes into his agreement when you buy from him? I don't think so, but anthuriums are notoriously very hard to tissue culture. Oh. From what I understand about doing tissue culture on anthuriums, you have to clean a section of the leaf and then grow callus on the leaf. So you need a more hardcore synthetic hormone to do that. I don't know exactly what they use. I've seen anthurium protocols. Someone sent me one the other day that used 2,4-D, um, which is a really, really strong hormone. I don't use it. I try to stay away from the synthetic hormones as much as possible. Pretty much the only synthetic hormones I tend to use are BAP and NAA. I use both of those really frequently. EU needs plant passports and certificates, but if you got your stuff right, it's quick and good. Good to know. I need a I need someone in the EU to start sending me stuff. <laughs> what the function says, hello from Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. Ohana. <laughs> it means family. <laughs> um, Antonia says, would you be willing to do experiments suggested by fans? I have some ideas about plant tissue culture that I'm not set up. Yeah, if you guys have ideas, definitely send them. I have a Discord server now, by the way. It's linked in the description of this live stream. And... It's been pretty active, actually. So if you're interested in tissue culture and you need some feedback on advice on equipment or protocols or things like that, that's what it's for. Um, I had to make a separate channel for cannabis tissue culture because the cannabis pe the cannabis people were starting to take over. Um, and I'm a I mod, so <laughs> don't act up in there. I'll ban you. I'll ban you like that. Yeah, Robert, Robert's the, the moderator. Yeah, it's so better watch out. Um, but the Discord's been super successful, so if you're curious about tissue culture, po post it in the Discord. I've been reacting with funny emotes. Concept, <laughs> yeah, he has. Concept Gaming says, our customs, imports for plants, etc. are really strict here in New Zealand. Yes. When we moved to Australia, um, when I was younger, we couldn't even take our dog because there's such, like, strict quarantine rules. And I know a couple creators. I know, um, <laughs> sorry, our dog's in here being crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, Pete's Plants, I might, have his, I might have his name wrong. I know a couple Australian creators have a hard time getting the plants they want in Australia because of the regulations there. Um, Tori just wrote Albo Dragon Scale, and I don't know what she's talking about there, but I do want an Albo Dragon Scale. That was like one of the plants I was thinking about getting today, actually, if I can find one. The prices for those aren't crazy anymore, but I think there's a mint variety Ooh. now in addition to the Albo, and I kind of want the mint variety, and I just realized we're still just looking at anthuriums here. So what's on the shopping list for today? What are you trying to buy? Ideally, what are you looking for? Is, do you have anything in mind in particular? I think... Uh, well, the dragon scale... Oh, here it is. This is the plan I wanted. Oh my gosh. It's, 275? Yeah. Allocation dragon scale mint. Ooh. I'd have to find a protocol because if I can't tissue culture this plant, then I'm going to feel guilty for buying it. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to find a good allocation protocol and then maybe I'll pick pick one of these guys up. There's, I think these are so pretty. Um, and they grow pretty well here in Florida, the alocasias tend to. Oop, that's not where I wanted to go. How long does it usually take for rare plant fairy to ship out orders, do you know? 
I don't know. I would imagine it's pretty fast. People people like them. Yeah, everyone in the chat seems like they like them. Um, I think... Hey, Francisco. Francisco from Plant Cell Tech is here. And he said, for growing callus, um, the best are TDZ, NAA, and 2,4-D. Um, as far as plant growth regulators go for tissue culture. So if you're trying to grow anthuriums, you need to grow callus. So... If you couldn't find a protocol, it would make sense to try to start with some of those and see, try to figure out what works. Um, Mello said, I thought all doc block clones are TC besides the initial hybrids. I'm not sure about that. I saw there was a um, Summer Rain Oaks did an interview with him a year ago or so. So I've been meaning to watch that video because I'm pretty curious about it. So I'll try to watch that this week and then I'll come back with the answers next time. I'm answering someone in the chat. Post links in your chat. <laughs> Timo said cannabis people don't have the energy to act out. That's funny. When I moved to the US, customs made me take out our Indian spices because they were seeds. Sounds right. <laughs> um, will you try to do synthetic seeds further? Probably at some point. I still have the ones that I grew in that video. And two out of the 10 or so that I created actually germinated. So they've been growing. And at this point, they're actual begonias. So it, it was cool to see it actually work. Um, someone said, what's the cannabis discord? It's not specifically a cannabis discord, OK? We're houseplant focused. But there is a channel to talk about cannabis if that's what you're interested in. It's and you need to be age verified, 18 years or older. Yes. And it has mm -hmm. to be legal where you live. Yes. Um, it's linked in the description of this video, though. Yes, and I dropped the link in the chat. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Casey says, Rare Plant Fairy says, we normally ship plants from Mondays to Wednesdays. And if you place your order after noon on Wednesday, they'll ship the following week. Which makes sense, because they're in Detroit, which... I mean, what's even the weather in Detroit right now? Detroit weather. I don't even want to know. Oh, it's not that cold there. It's 51. I don't know why. I thought it was going to be like zero degrees there right now. Alocasia, Bambino. I've never really cared for the Bambinos. Even the I, the variegated version, I prefer to the regular version. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is like the plant I was kind of envisioning. This one's a maybe. I need a new tab. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Sorry. Robert, <laughs> I lost my plant. I was like, this is the plant I want to buy. And then oh, no. it's gone. Come on. You got to put on a better performance for the people. <laughs> Wait, what's unicorn plants? <laughs> Completely sidetracked. They're all sold out. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. New obsession. Oh my, it's burnt. Oh. <laughs> 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 my gosh. <laughs> Uh, Those look cool. 195, kind of a deal. Um, oh, Jinx says, how is your Firefly Begonia doing? Still waiting for mine to ship. So mine, I filmed an update. It's going to be in my next video, which is the Merry Stem Culture video I was telling you guys about. Um, it definitely glows a little bit more than it initially did in my original review. I had just taken it out of the box and... At the time I made that video, I had no idea when Light Bio was planning to ship out the rest of the plants. So I really wanted to be the first one to put out a video about it. Um, so ideally, I think I would have waited a week and given the plant some time to like recuperate from shipping. Especially petunias have such delicate flowers and leaves that they can really wilt very quickly. And... Um, yeah, I tested it the other day. It glows more. Obviously, it's not <laughs> it's not like the marketing photos. Um, I do think people, they would have had maybe a little bit better um, reception if they hadn't posted some really <laughs> intense marketing photos. Because it, it, 
I mean, most people would see this and realize, yeah, it's probably not going to glow as much as it does in this photo. Um, but it does kind of sometimes, I think, create a little bit of a false expectation. But don't get me wrong. I think those plants are super awesome. I love what they're doing. I hope they do it with more plants. I would love a glow-in-the-dark philodendron or something like that. Um, it, I know does, it does kind of glow. Like, we went into the closet the day she got it, both of us to look at it. And it did kind of glow. Like, it's it's not like that. It's not like that. But it's, like, kind of close. Yeah. It's not not like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not that intense, but it does glow a little bit. It was cool. Like, it's only $30. Um, It's $30, but then shipping is also, like, $30. So it's $60? Yeah. But I got, uh... I got the one I actually ordered. So they sent me two of them about a month ago. And then... I had placed an order already that I paid for myself, so I just got the one I paid for myself this week, and I I think I saw someone say in the Discord server that they're waiting to ship out the orders to colder destinations until it gets a little warmer out, so if you live somewhere cold, I think your petunia might show up later than everyone else's. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like for $30, I mean, if, assuming you just pick it up, right? No shipping, like $30. It's worth $30 for what it is. I agree. 60 might be... Well, I have, no, I have no barometer for, like, plant prices. To me, 60 feels like a little much for what it is. But 30 feels fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a petunia, so you, a normal petunia would be really cheap because yeah. people mostly use these for landscaping. Like, okay. this isn't really a plant that people just keep to keep for fun. Do you think they, all, they did Petunia because, like, that's the only one they could get to glow, or, like... My guess, so this was originally done on a tobacco plant, which is not very marketable in the year 2024, <laughs> so... And no one's keeping a tobacco plant as a house plant, I don't think, or that would be unusual. Could you? So, you you can keep any plant as okay, a house okay. plant Sorry, if, you, if you want. I didn't mean to interrupt your club. No, but... you're good. Okay. Um, so my guess is there's some like genetic similarity between a petunia and a tobacco plant that made it easy to put into a petunia um, compared to other plants. That's my theory. I, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> so don't run with that. That's just kind of what I think. People say that glowing plant is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Glow in the dark monstera. That would be sick. Ooh, Cornelia says, a glow in the dark monstera tie constellation, but the variegated constellation part is the part that glows. I love that idea. Light bio, make it happen. <laughs> um, Lisa says, my firefly petunias have shipped. I'm looking forward to see if I can get seeds that would be fascinating please try to do it and keep me updated that would be really interesting and she also said figured it wouldn't glow as much as the advertisement i mean yeah <laughs> we all did um jing says baby steps in the hybridization eventually they can get it to glow better and brighter i hope so that would be cool preston says there are glow worms in a tennessee cave near my house <laughs> sure <laughs> Very cool. I've never seen a glow worm. Um, and Preston also says he has three tobacco plants in pots. Very nice decoration, Preston. <laughs> um, Lee says, I've already started my glow in the dark monster video. I think you might be waiting a long time to finish that video. Um, oh, Francisco said, I have made fluorescent GMO tobacco plants as part of my research at university. Cool. Did they glow as much as the... I don't... So, Francisco, I don't know if you saw my light bio video, but did your plants glow as much as the plants did in my video? Or, or not so... Not as much. The moving mimosa... Yeah, moving plants can be cool, too. I like those um those sensitive plants. Um, let me get... I get sidetracked so easily. Where am I on this page? I don't want this plant. <laughs> it's already sold. Okay, these are all sold. I'm wasting our time here looking at those. I'm having fun. 
I hope everyone else is having fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying the conversation. Kind of curious what epipremnums they have. Oh, these aren't even expensive. No, I was kind of hoping they'd have some of the Teruno epipremnums. Because you guys know I'm obsessed with those. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see the... Um, I'm not logged into Monster X right now, but if I want to bid on something, I guess I can log in. But I've been kind of curious to... Um, it's so funny. These are all just from Rare Plant Fairy, which is where we just were. <laughs> um, let's look at the trending plants on Monster X. Alucasia, Amazonica Pink. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. What? Robert, get my credit card. <laughs> Buy it if you want it. Does this look real to you guys? It's six days until the current bid, and the reserve hasn't been met. And it's only at $50, so six days left. What's the reserve? Oh, this is for a plant fairy. Okay, yeah. it's gonna be way more. Okay. It's probably like 100 something. I mean, if they, if they sell for like 200, it's probably like 175 or something like that. Mm. Would be my guess. Spitballing based off eBay experiences. I've been so... I feel like I should just buy one. I can't stop talking about Anthurium Delta Force. In every video, I'm like, Delta Force this, Delta Force that. Does buy this it. not... Okay. So the... <laughs> no. Buy it. Well, <laughs> Do it. Well, I could place a bid, but my $50 bid's not going to win me the plant. There are $100 on it. Uh, chat, does this look like... Chat. <laughs> the, the Anthurium Delta Force, I thought, was supposed to have the leaf straight across here. But this one kind of goes in why is it different <laughs> someone explain <laughs> oh francisca said they didn't glow as much mm. as the uh firefly petunias mandy said i'd love a glowing begonia or something for my bedside terrarium that would be cool i need to redo all of my terrariums i think i might make it a little vlog video but i'm trying to wonder or i'm trying to figure out how i can incorporate tissue culture into the video because i don't just want to do just a plant video that's what i used to do before people watched my videos um and they're all privated now because there's some, <laughs> there's some deeply embarrassing old content out there that i made about plants four years ago or so um during the pandemic um but yeah i need to redo my terrariums. I wish I could set, I wish I could show you guys the photo I took today. It is so it's getting so bad. So at work, I have a little laboratory that you guys see in my videos, and then I also have an office. And the office is not it's not like a lab. It's like carpeted like a regular office you would go to. And um <laughs> I have four big tub terrariums in my office and they all look so bad and between them all there's probably I don't know 200 or 300 begonias um not all different ones that would be crazy um I have a lot of repeats and stuff because I just end up with a million of them I don't know if this is going to show you guys what I'm looking at oh yeah you can kind of see they all look like this they look so bad that's embarrassing um what is this my begonia terrarium, oh, or one of one of one of four. I'm trying to see how it looks on the stream when you load up like that. Oh, well, just imagine just a really horrible disarray of plants and algae, and it doesn't look great. So I think I'm gonna find a tutorial. I like the IKEA cabinets that people grow plants in. I don't have any of those, but I think I'm gonna get one and then put a bunch of begonias in there. <laughs> Cornelius says the Delta Force gets the straight top as they mature. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel better about this plant. Should I bother putting a bid on this? Can I have a poll? Six days is kind of a long yeah, time. Yeah, I, I can't invest six days. How do you start polls? I have no idea. Does anyone know how to start polls? I would rather pay $700 for the one on the website than have to like watch the auction. Um, but it's still too expensive for me. I, I know the prices on these are going to come down, so I'm going to be very patient and wait That's so to get one. That's so mature of you. It is very mature. Very Thank mature. You. I love that. This is the pink diamond that I said I didn't like last week, so I will not be buying it. Good. The variegated macans are interesting. Everyone's telling you to bid now. 
They are? Yeah. Oh, should I do it? <laughs> I, give in to, I, I give in to peer pressure so easy, guys. Should I do it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, I agree. I think you should do it. Fast enough says, how big are these ter- terrariums? Um, I don't know the quart size, but uh, can you see both my arms? No. <laughs> oh, wow. They're big tubs. <laughs> that like, like the one you use in your DIY video size. Yeah, the one I, I made the still airbox out of um, is the size of the tubs that the terrariums are in. Lisa's bid. Okay, I have, I don't know my login. Okay. Uh, where'd it go? I feel silly. Let me look at all the Delta Forces. Maybe there's one I can just buy. Oh my god. <laughs> $2,500. Well, I'm not buying this one. Why is that one so much? Because it's big. Oh. People can't wait. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's good? No. There's like fertilizer burn on the leaves. Come on. Hmm. No comment. This one's 466 to just, oh no, sold out. Can I hide the sold out stuff? I'm like getting <laughs> tricked. Uh, is there a filter on the left? Mm-hmm. Uh, price range. <laughs> I guess I can't sort them out. Oh, well, there's only 21 results. I can handle this. So these are all the ones that have sold. 500, that's not crazy. Maybe it is. I sound crazy. <laughs> um, 400. So these were the auctions. So I assume the one that's being auctioned right now starting at $50 will end up somewhere close to these. I'm going to put a bid in just for fun, though. I have to log in. I'm going to go to the other tab. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure people can't see. Go to the uh, OBS. OBS. That's this. No, no, that's the YouTube studio. Okay, yeah. yeah, you're good. Sorry, guys. If one of you starts bidding against me, that would not be cool. <laughs> Username, plants and jars. I want to start selling on Monster X because I've been working on my own website, but I'm really slow coming at it, and I don't feel like I have enough stock yet to stock up an entire website of stuff. Um, so they were DMing me on Instagram about selling stuff on there, and they told me I can actually sell my plants in vitro, like still in the tissue culture containers, which is what I'm looking to do anyway. So um, I want to try that. I do not want to receive your newsletter. I know they're going to send it anyway, like every website does. Okay, place bid phone number and my address I will not read it out loud I can confirm no one can see it <laughs> make, sure not, uh, make sure we're not doxing ourselves here oh okay. okay I'm not a member so. why is shipping so expensive I'll do three day place your maximum bid Wait, let me drag this back over here. You gotta clip it into the... Drag the tab into the other tabs. So oh. it's, yeah, the drag, yeah, perfect. Okay. Pull up OBS, let's make sure people can see it. Okay, yeah, you're good. Okay. Wait, I don't wanna... We aren't going to help you be mature on a poll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paul says stick to a rational thought process. And I feel like someone named Paul is a very reasonable person and I should take his advice. Uh, Mello says helping someone spend money is so easy. <laughs> True. Buy a vanilla bean vine. I already have a vanilla orchid. Um, I have a variegated one too. Sort by ending soon. Says Lee. 500, that's not too much, lol. No, I agree. That's like ridiculous for a plant. But I'm just talking about in comparison to the other ones I've seen <laughs> for sale. Okay. Relative. Are these plants a tulip mania? Yes, they are tulip mania, but it's been going on for so long that I've lost all all sense of what's normal. <laughs> you fall into the mania. Uh, okay, I'm going to place my max bid as 200 because I feel like... You got to fill in your payment info. Oh my gosh. 
All right, I'm dragging it back over to the other tab. <sighs> okay. Sorry, guys. Taking a break from the stream to spend money. Can you get the zip code around? <laughs> it's taking everything in me not to like read it out loud as I type it in. So while we're waiting for her to fill that out, how's everyone's week been? Is everyone having a good weekend? Any good plant stories you want to talk about? <laughs> United States. You have it in your card. Oh. I'm busting out the oh, credit oh, card. Watch out. Make sure it's not on stream. You can <laughs> point it right at you. <laughs> yeah, hold it down there. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. You good. Got 72 people watching. Welcome, 72 people. <laughs> Someone's saying you should stream when the auction ends, too. That's a good idea. <laughs> and someone else said no, because you'll get stream sniped. You think someone's going to spend, like, $600 to stream snipe me? <laughs> if they do, good for them. They can have it. They will save me from some buyer's remorse. Okay, save payment. Oh, Cornelia, she says, we had an earthquake in New Jersey and none of my plants fell down, so that's a win. I heard about that earthquake. I heard, I heard it was pretty crazy. Yeah, it was in New Jersey too. I heard it was in, I know New York City they felt yeah. it. That's crazy. I hope everyone's okay. Um, what category was it? Do you know? I have no idea. That's so weird. I didn't know they had earthquakes there. Me either. Okay. All right, how much? 200, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's so embarrassing. <sighs> okay, oh, well. I probably shouldn't have done that on the stream, to be fair. Um, but now we can all be email pals. <laughs> all right, let me verify my email address that we all know now. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the magnitude is a 4.8. Is that out of five? Um, okay, guys, I'm the highest bidder. Just so you all know. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. They'll thought that was Get funny. Get dunked on. <laughs> you gotta drag it back over to the I'm scared to drag it back over. Well, Do I, it. Why don't I just give everyone my credit card and my address while I'm at it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys wanna see my wedding photos? No, those are good. I'm you, just kidding. I, I would actually show, show them. Those. those are good, yeah. I like the wedding photos. No, I'm glad that, we did them. I like them too, but that's not what we're here for. <laughs> okay, okay. What is the maximum category of a... I can Google it. I'm here. Of a... I don't know. I've never earthquake. experienced an earthquake. Uh, Neither have I. Yeah, we don't live somewhere where we really ever think about earthquakes. There was a big earthquake in Taiwan too. Oh. Crazy. Apparently the highest... Is a 10. So 4.8 is like in the middle. Oh, <laughs> this one is a recent Google search from other people. Is 4.8 earthquake strong? Um, 2.5 to 5.4 is minor or no damage. Below 2.5 is generally not felt. 5.5 to 6 is slight damage to buildings. 7 to 7.9 7, is considered a major earthquake that can cause serious damage. So it goes up to 9. It goes up to 10. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad it wasn't that bad of an earthquake. Okay, I'm going to refresh to see. Okay, we saw my email again. <laughs> Thanks, Monster X. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I need to go on a different website. Um... I'm kind of curious. So I I have the Musa no no. And um I have also a cool one called Musa Sarawak Mint. And I'm kind of curious about more interesting types of banana plants. There was a banana plant that I wanted for a while called like um what was it? It was like smoothie or mint ice cream or something and it supposedly the bananas kind of taste like ice cream. Um, and I noticed that the prices of that particular banana tree have come way down. So, um, if anyone knows any cool, interesting, excuse me, banana cultivars, 
let me know because I'm interested. I actually wonder if there's any muses. I'm going to drag this over because every time I click on Monstera X, it pops my email up. So I'm going to off screen this real quick until I know. Okay, we're good. It'd be funny if it just popped up as soon as you popped it in. <laughs> it probably will. Um, these are mostly <laughs> sold out, but... So we have I, the no -no. I just saw the pop up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just mostly the A, A. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's just the variegated musas. Um, which, which are pretty, but they're easy to get now, so. And they grow really fast here, too. This one's especially pretty with all that variegation, but it's already sold. Okay, I'm looking for anything that's not just an, a Musa no-no. <laughs> but it's all Musa no-no all the way down. Okay. <laughs> Never mind about that idea. Apparently the $200 bid does not meet the reserve. Are you serious? Yeah. Why didn't let me even do it? I don't know. It literally just popped up my email again, so thank God I moved it over. Um, so my my bid didn't count? Well, it's like you're the <laughs> highest bid, but you didn't meet the reserve. What, Rare Plant Fairy doesn't want my money? <laughs> Apparently not. not. Not for $200. Then why why is it even... Why is it even an auction? Why does it not start at the minimum bid? True. Yeah. I agree. I don't know. Don't let... People think I'm disparaging Rare Plant Fairy. I love Rare Plant Fairy. We love RPF. But I just want adult divorce that's not $700, okay? That's Is fair. that too much to ask? No, that's fair. I like that. That thinking. That's a good idea. How do you know what the minimum reserve is? I'm on a different... I don't know. I'll, I'll click on the one. So there it is, right there. It says $200. You need to just verify your email so that stops popping up. I did verify my email. It's been popping up like crazy. Oh, I have to log in. Okay, sorry guys. One sec. She's logging into her email so it won't pop up when she pulls up Rare Plant Fairy or Monstera X. Okay, I think okay. I fixed the problem here. Okay, no. Let me try again. Perfect. Okay, okay I think it's better. All right. Whew, okay. Well, if it shows my email again, I already showed it like four times, so. Oh, this is just the email. That's, That's the life, deal. baby. Yeah. Just an email. Um, okay, how do I find it now? I'm, this is my just first time back. using Monster X. There you go. Okay. Current bid, $200. <laughs> I'm the highest bidder. Reserve not met. How much do you have to go up to? <laughs> what if you did 250 <sighs> Okay. What is the true highest you're willing to place? 250. <laughs> okay, 250 is the highest we're going. If it'll be the reserve, it is what it is. All right, it is what it is. That's life. What's the reserve? What's the point <laughs> of the auction? <laughs> my credit card's still in my lab. What? Why? Why is it an auction? That's so funny. Okay. So I guess today's not the day I'm going to get an Anthurium Delta Force. Although, don't say I didn't try. Because I tried two hundred and fifty dollars worth, which I think is the maximum I'm willing to pay for one anyway. Anyway, let's go to Etsy because Etsy Etsy's never doxed me in front of seventy people. So um, this is where I originally got the Musa Sarawak mint that I was talking about and the Musa No Nos, but that was a year or so ago, maybe two years ago. I posted a video of it and. Um, I lost my train of thought, <laughs> but I like this. I like this seller. Like I've enjoyed the plants that I've gotten from her. I just got this today, actually. I got a begonia, uh, for rocks, and I got the Milano Bulato. You bought this today, or you, it came today? It came today. It's the one I showed you the picture of earlier. Yeah, yeah, it looked cool. Ooh, I want to show the picture to everybody. If can you send it to me somehow so I can show it? Yeah, you want to pull up Discord? I'm scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Pull up Discord. Oh gosh, okay. Did you post it in your Discord? No. Okay. Okay. Um, and then go to the DMs. And then just send it to me on a DM. Oh. Sorry guys, one sec. I have to show you this picture. 
of these plants I got today. And be careful when putting your phone on the, the desk because it'll boom. Oh, wow, I took a lot of photos today. Okay. Right. To Discord. Direct messages and then do me. Gotcha. Okay. I want to read the chat. Okay, now oh. click it. Now click open a browser. Okay, now copy that. And move it over. Perfect. Okay. I got two plants today, not one. These are two separate plants. It's confusing how I'm holding it, I realize, but there are two pots in my hand. One pot is smaller, this one's bigger. These look like the same plant. They're not the same plant. So on the left, wait, I want my chat back open. I miss chat. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. hi chat. On the left, I have the Begonia Ferox. And if I'm saying that wrong, too bad. And that's what this plant is here. This isn't where I bought it. I got it from Steve Leaves, and it was a little cheaper than this, actually. It wasn't $50. Um, and then the one on the right is a different plant, but they look so similar. When I opened them, I actually thought they accidentally um, sent me the same plant twice. But they were both labeled, and I, I did look at a few more photos, and I didn't realize how similar they look. So I'm going to be putting these both into tissue culture this coming week. Begonias are so easy to do. Um, I did put Darth Vaderiana into tissue culture this week too. I'm sorry, had... what? <laughs> Darth what? D Begonia Darth Vaderiana. It's a begonia. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name. That's an awesome name. Yeah. I love that. That's sick. You can just call a plant whatever you want, apparently. Yeah, apparently. Begonia Darth Vader. What? Darth Vaderiana. Darth Vaderiana. Darth Vaderiana. Right. Is it a pretty plant? I think so. So it looks, oh. it's, it's really dark, and then it has this really pretty Whoa, kind of that's green so cool. around the leaves. They're super hard to take care of. These, so begonias in general, especially the ones you keep in terrariums, love super high humidity. Mm -hmm. This one in particular needs like 90 to almost 100% humidity. Wow. Or it'll just melt apart. It looks so cool. Um, yeah, this is clearly filtered because it's definitely yeah. it's definitely not this green around the edges, um, but it yeah. is kind of light green. Yeah. This is a good representation of yeah. it, I think. That's super cool. And then there's some varieties. This might be a hybrid. Yeah, this is a hybrid. Um, but there's some types of the Darth Vader Yana that have green spots, too. This one's only $70. She's shocked. Should I buy it? <laughs> no. Well, uh, if Mac can get it. Uh, but it goes in the terrarium. No, I don't trust... It's too hard to take care of, I right? do not trust my brother to take care of this plant, yeah. and I'm worried it's going to show up while he's here and needs to take care of it. No hate to him, but... He has a dead tomato plant on his balcony <laughs> that's just been sitting there for months. So... <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe not a green thumb. Um, Cornelia said, how long do the musas take to give fruits? It depends on the variety, I think. Um, I haven't had my variegated bananas give fruit, but I do want to have, I do want to grow the fruit from a variegated banana because the bananas themselves are variegated, which is really cool. I've never seen one in real life that has bananas on it. Variegated banana plant. Let's see if we can find a picture of the bananas. Yeah, so here's the picture I've seen. Um, I think they taste like normal bananas, I would imagine. I'm not sure. But the bananas themselves are variegated. Is that not so cool? <laughs> um, that is sick. <laughs> thank, That's you. Crazy. thank you. That's Yeah. What the heck? Thank you. That's awesome. Um, Sorry, I was responding to someone. Oh, Mandy says, I don't think you'll know the reserve until it hits it. Oh, so what? I'm just supposed to sit out here with my credit card open, just going dollar by dollar till I meet the reserve? Yes, correct. Um, fast Enough said the spiky begonia are so cool. Yes. Where'd my begonia go? They are so cool. Every photo I take in the lab area ends up with this weird purple. My lights really aren't that purplish in real life, but on camera they come out super purple. Um... So it makes posting to Instagram hard. But yeah, let me show you. Oh, here we were. 
Um, I didn't know Paper Crane Nursery sold begonias, so that's interesting. There is a variegated version of the Darth Vader Yana that we were just looking at too, but the only person I know who has one is um, Justin Jones from Created in a Garden. Uh, he has a really cool plant collection. Like if I could have anyone's plant collection, it's Justin's. Um, here's a flowering one. I've Most of my begonias have pink or red flowers, so the yellow is kind of interesting. Anthurium luxuriance. This is so pretty. Dark platinum. So she's doing a lot of anthuriums, which I feel like is new for her, because I feel like she used to do more just philodendrons. Anthuriums are taking the world world by storm. Have you seen the Philo Dark Lord? No, that sounds. That sounds cool. Very man. BA. Yeah, it's suggested by um, Melor Zogador. Sorry if I didn't say your name right. I've been calling him Mello or, Mello. or them. <laughs> Melor. Oh, it's a super dark philodendron. Oh wow, it's really pretty. They're cheap too, and they're in demand. Finally, a plant I can afford. <laughs> I could buy so many of these for for the price of my reserve not met. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm familiar with the Green Escape. I think the Green Escape is the biggest plant seller on Etsy. Oh, these wow. are little tiny guys. They almost look like they came from TC. Hmm. If you want a TC... Controversy? <laughs> it shouldn't be controversial. <laughs> I do still see a lot of um, listings that say not TC or stuff like that, like we talked about in that one video, which I think is the silliest thing ever. Someone said the bananas are stunning. Yes, they are absolutely stunning. <laughs> yeah, I'm sharing your email. Um, how big does the banana get into fruit? I'm confused for the question. Erica says get it. I don't, I like this plant, but I have a lot of plants. <laughs> and I don't think I like it enough to add it to my hoard. Where'd my paper crane nursery go? The Adzonia variegated, I see these everywhere. I would not recommend buying one right now. Um, it's interesting because I, when I was selling plants still last year, last year was the last year I was really selling plants and then I stopped the beginning of this year. Um, but I was selling a lot of variegated adzonias and I was, I think I want to say I was selling them for like 50 or 60 bucks. They looked similar to this and I would say like a similar number of leaves. And I had the albos and also the areas and they never sold that well for me at that price point. But now I see them all for sale for like $100, $150. Botanicas has one listed for like $900 for some reason, um, which is like crazy. Don't buy it. But um, I don't know why they're like more expensive now, it feels like, when they, than they were last year when I was trying to sell them. Um, other plants that I was trying to sell that didn't sell that well were the variegated domesticum philodendron. Oh, here's the Aurea version that I was just talking about. Um, I'm trying to think of other plants that didn't sell well that I would not recommend trying to sell. Those were the main two that I had trouble moving. Someone asked why you stopped selling plants. Oh, I decided to transition into only selling tissue culture plants. So right now I'm just building up a lot of inventory. So I'm in the lab all week every week and that's why I was talking about hiring a lab tech and some some help to uh to do that kind of work because it can be really labor intensive so I do plan to sell plants again um through my own website but like I was saying earlier in the meantime <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell on Monstera X a little bit although they kind of did me super dirty tonight <laughs> <laughs> by shaming my 250 dollar bid and also showing everyone my email like six times <laughs> That's funny. It is. Um, it is nine o'clock. All right. So we can keep going. I'm having fun. If you want to keep going, I'm down to keep going. I think we're gonna keep going for a little bit okay. if you guys are down. Um, someone said I prefer Tetrasperma albos way over these. Oh, Transperma. I've never heard of that before. Someone just wrote Malaysian orchid. I 
I watched your video, oh, sorry, this is acelink07 said, I watched your video on acclimating TC at home and I'm two weeks, three days on keeping a TC of a Tycon alive. When should I expect to see new growth or something telling me that things are good? So if it's not dying, things are good. Um, <laughs> if it's alive, you're good. Yeah, I mean, it could already have, in two weeks, I would say it probably would have grown a little bit or at least perked up a little bit. So if it seems like the the leaves are not too wilted or anything like that, or it doesn't look like it's rotting or anything's visibly wrong with it, it's probably completely fine. Um, it's a big transition. Like we talk about acclimating plants just from one pot to another pot when you repot them. That can be really hard on a plant. Taking a baby plant that's only ever known the perfect in vitro environment and then putting it into a pot full of soil in a much lower humidity um, or maybe the lighting's different and not on a timer like it's used to like that's a really big change for these plants so I think that's a lot of the time why we see sometimes tissue culture plants don't do well once you take them out of tissue culture um, until they have a good long time to actually acclimate to our normal house conditions that we're used to so I wouldn't worry about it if there's nothing visibly wrong with it. Um, Mirko says, wow, do you sell them on Etsy? I did. That's where I used to sell plants, but um, now I'll just be on my own website slash maybe Monster X. But like I said, I'm kind of mad at them. <laughs> um, so that was Paper Crane Nursery. I didn't really see anything that I really wanted there. Um, I kind of want to go back to Monster X and see what the other hot um, hot auctions are. If you guys have recommendations for plants you think I should tissue culture to, feel free to leave them in the in the chat. Um, a decent amount of my videos have actually been out of ideas that people requested. Sorry, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Oh. So I'm gonna go pee really quick. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> it's my stream now. Okay, I'm coming back. Don't leave. Don't leave. It's the Robert stream now, everyone. I'm in charge. What should we talk about? Okay, wait, hold up. So let's see. I'm gonna refresh the stream on this. So right now it says 75 people are watching. And we have 61 likes. I'm just saying those numbers should be equal. So let's get some likes on this stream. What else is happening? But does, is there anything you guys want me to do while she's gone? I'm ready. Do I have a favorite plant? I don't have a favorite. Well, no, I do have a favorite plant, actually. I had this one in college. Laura got it for me when I was, we first started dating in college. It was, what is it? The, the I think it's called the Black Prince Succulent. She was really into, she won't ever tell you guys this, but she was super into uh, succulents back when uh, we first started dating in college. So I got one of these because I thought they were sick. Apparently succulents aren't cool, but I think they're cool, so. See, isn't that sick? I don't know. I think it's very sweet. Pretty cool. Wow. We weren't talking about succulents. Are you sure I got one next? There is some pige lore, that's right. If you guys want more pige lore, just let me know. I'll tell you everything. Everything. <laughs> I'm an open book now. Yeah. I had the top post on the subreddit r slash succulents for like years. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I loved succulents. I just filmed, did I talk about this already? I just filmed this week actually putting a bunch of succulents in tissue culture. I did a bunch of graptopetalums and then um, an Echeveria laui, which is a plant I used to want so bad but it was like hundreds of dollars. You had to get them from Japan for some reason or Korea. And I bought this one for 20 bucks and it wasn't even, it wasn't even the cheapest one that I could have gotten. Um, let me see Reddit succulents. This was years ago. So I assume they've had bigger posts since then. 
yeah, I mean, there's over half a million people in here. Um, hot top posts of all time. Ugh, this ugly ass Christmas tree is still a top post <laughs> from six years ago. Okay, this was like about the time I would have posted mine, so. I had one that did really well. On r slash succulents? Yeah, I posted my, I my black prints, remember? I do remember that. Yeah, it did really well. Like, it got like a bunch of upvotes and you were shocked. That's 13,000? No. So these are some of the worst memes I've ever seen. Surround yourself with things that require the same neglect you show yourself. Awful. Live, laugh, love vibes. <laughs> Someone's asking, do you hate garden plants? No. <laughs> do people think I hate garden plants? No. I don't have an outdoor garden, so I don't really work with a lot of outdoor plants. Okay, this is my post. Notice the username's deleted, so I'm not doxing myself two <laughs> times in one night. Um, but yeah, this was my college apartment my senior year. So that's when Robert and I were dating, actually. Mm -hmm. Um and I got really, really into plants that year. I had some Hoyas hanging in this window. I only had one window. This was my bedroom. Um, and then I had a string of hearts too, which I think is probably right over uh, here. I remember that apartment. That I actually still have sitting outside. It's my oldest plant, I think. This plant died, by the way. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> it looks so healthy here. It looks great here, but yeah. um, it, did, it did die. Rip. Rip. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm guessing there's not a lot of succulents on Monstera X, just because I feel like they're not in vogue anymore. But when I was posting them, when I was showing you my old post, they were, succulents were popping in 2018. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. This is my stupid plant over here. The $250. That's my bid. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> so this is created in a garden. This is who I interviewed in my video. Um, so it looks like he has a cross for sale right now. That's going to be between these two. And he does all his own crosses himself. So I think, are these the resulting plants? These must be the seedlings that came from this cross, um, but really very pretty. How do I see what else he has for sale? Why can't I click this? Once there are X, like, my brain doesn't... Oh, okay. Oh, look, I can pay in four. I can set up payments. For your plants? <laughs> oh, no. I find the whole payment schedule stuff so, like... Predatory? Yeah, very predatory. Like, charging interest on, like, goods like that, like... I don't know. You can do, like, a... I know PayPal does, like, a... No interest on stuff for six months if you want... If you really want to do something like that, I wouldn't recommend it. I would just buy it. Or wait till you have enough money to buy it. <laughs> Someone said, yeah, I had a plant like that. It also died. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Rip. Succulents are hard. Yeah. Have you bought any plants to TC tonight? Okay. No, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I might still. Um, oh, I asked for likes while you were gone and we got more. We're at 73. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Wow. That's exciting. So he doesn't have a ton of stuff for sale right now. The yeah. Yetlens is a beautiful plant. When I was pulling photos together for the interview that I did with him. I looked at, I've seen uh, every single Instagram post that he's ever made because I needed them for my video. Um, but I was impressed by that one. How do I, oh, I see. Oh, 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 Ooh, la, la. me after saying I'm not going to get any Hoyas cause they're <laughs> really hard to tissue culture immediately getting a Hoya. I, I really like this guy. Rosebud Tropics. I haven't heard of them before. Mm. What is this growing in? Just cocoa chips? Surely there's something underneath this, some soil. That's sus. <laughs> Super sus. Maybe it's staging. <laughs> it is a pretty photo. Yeah. 
They're located in Dayton, Ohio, and they specialize in hard-to-find Hoyas. Hmm. I guess I can follow them because, oh my gosh. Oh, I need the app. You need the app. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I thought I left that up here. Let's see what else. It doesn't show up perfect. She's also selling... Oh, that one was an auction. Hoya Griffith. The eye splash. No. Little Tint of Cultures asks, I've been watching you and plant cell technology for about a week. Already have stuff ordered. Had no clue how much some plants cost. <laughs> Is 16 square feet enough shelf space to get a good start? 16 square feet of shelf space? Yes. Yes, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. Exciting Little Tint of Cultures. Antonio Sanford says, have you ever reached out to the Growing with Fishes podcast? I've no, I've not heard of that podcast before. If it's plant related, I'm interested. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do, I did um, a little interview with On the Ledge, Jane Perrone, um, and it was really fun. But she reached out to me, like I didn't reach out and ask to go on her show. I feel like that'd be a little awkward to reach out and be like, I would like to be a guest on your show. <laughs> but they have a lot of different types of plants on here. Fast Enough says, some people grow Hoyas in, like, orchid bark-type medium. Interesting. I've yeah. seen that, but that just looked like straight-up, like, Coco Coir chips. Um, mm. Which is kind of interesting. Look at the Monsteros. Whew. <sighs> Prices. Yay, yay, yay. Money to be made. Sometimes selling plants is more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. That's how I felt about it sometimes. Doing it all yourself. If you you can't scale it up just by yourself. This is overpriced. We are not charging two hundred dollars for the Thai constellation still. Uh, it looks cool though. No. Uh, you don't like it? No, you can get these at like Publix or Kroger grocery stores and stuff now. Boo. We two hundred dollars for the Kroger's plant. <laughs> okay, well we won't shame them. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's a pretty plant, but I think that's a little overpriced. Yeah. Oh, here's the white monster I was talking about. Oh. How do I know it's really a white monster though? Because these leaves look like it is a white monster, but this leaf is suspiciously not white. It's suspiciously unvariegated. Hello, I'm Fuang. <laughs> Stop. I'm just reading it. Um, he said it was funny. Yellow Maryland. Oh, he has some really cool stuff. The yellow Maryland always looks very similar to the Orea for me, though. I wouldn't trust myself to identify one correctly to get a Maryland instead of an Orea. Actually, what is the difference between yellow Maryland and a Monstera Orea? I don't know. Does anyone know in the chat? Melor Zogondor has some suggestions for plants to get tissue culture. Oh. The what Begonia are you? Black Knight and Begonia Inca Knight. I've never heard of either of those. Begonia Black Knight. Yeah, like K N I G H D. Yeah. Oh, those are sick. Oh, these are like big rhizomous or begonias that you would grow like in a big pot. I like the little tiny terrarium begonias. Although this is very pretty in this photo. With the other one's called colors. the Inca Knight. N I G H D. Inca. I N K S E A. Oh, like the, I was spilling the Inca trail. Again. Oh, really pretty. These aren't like the types of begonias I typically grow. Like I said, I like the little terrarium ones, but these are pretty. And then they also suggested the Philo Gloriosum variegated. Oh, I've grown philodendron gl gloriosums in tissue culture before, but not variated ones. They also suggested Alocasia ninja or Alocasia nebula imperialis. <laughs> I know, that's a lot. I okay. can't spell that. Okay. No, it's okay. Okay, okay. Some of these cultivars are so similar. True. True. And on the ledge, you still listen a lot. Yeah, I used to listen to her too, so when she reached out, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, and it was like after I posted one of my first videos that did well, so I was like freaking out, super excited. She didn't forget anyone on her rise to fame. Mm-mm. <laughs> she kept it real. Fame. Um, 
Sorry, I need to close some of these tabs. I'm getting very distracted here. Yeah. I do want the um, white monster. I actually might get that. I don't know if I'm confident enough. Actually, I want to see the other ones. White monster. These are not monster or white monsters. This is this crazy? Lou says it's times like these that I don't like living in Australia. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. It's like super hard to get plants there. Because of all the licenses and import. Yeah, quarant quarantine and everything. Yeah. The U.S. kind of lets you do whatever you want to do. Although there are still customs regulations. Full mint. No ID. No, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, I guess the the only white monster I see, oh wait, wait, too expensive. Also, I think I'm just bad at IDing monster sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I do think the next monster I buy is probably going to be the white monster. Oh wait, oh this is this is the same seller I was just looking at, Wong. Is that her name or the store name? Who knows? Is there some information about this? Like where they got it from? That's I need more cool. information, Huang. <laughs> he does have a good review. Oh, I can make an offer. Should I make an offer? If you want it. You logged in. Is offering 150 greedy? <laughs> Am I being cheap if I do that? No, you're always allowed to offer something. Okay, Tell I'm, make, to I'm gonna no. make an offer of 150 for this plant. I'm gonna drag it off the screen though while I do it because I'm scared I'm going to show something I shouldn't show once again. Oh, you gotta use the app. You gotta download the app to make offers. It let me make an offer before. No, that was a bid. Oh. Oh. Okay. Next time I'm going to hook up the app, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think we're all having fun. Dang. Okay, well, I guess I can't buy anything on Monster X tonight. I am interested in this plant, though. I Probably not for $260, but I think I'm going to offer him, like, $150 or $200 bucks and see if he will sell it. Um, we'll see. But, yeah, the white monster is, like, the top of my wish list. I think I gave that S tier in the ranking that we did Yeesh. last week, which is the best -tier, tier, if you're not familiar with the tier list. Yeah. Sorry. We're taking care of these two really old dogs right now. They're my childhood dogs, and they're somehow still alive. They're old enough to drive. And they love walking below the computer and pulling all of the co all of the computer cords out. It's like the most annoying thing in the entire world. Mellow says to offer 170. That is a good happy medium. I think I will take your advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it after, though, because... I need to download the app, and I feel like that's going to take me a while. <laughs> um, I watched a guy today who said $1,500 permit each time. Is that to import plants? That's crazy. That's nuts. That's crazy. Well, then I feel like you could make a whole business importing plants in Australia. Here, you can't really make a big business out of it because there's so many people doing it and selling them on Etsy and eBay. But if it... 1500 would prevent a lot of people from importing plants, so um, that's kind of interesting. How do those white plants even photosynthesize? Um, they still have some green on them. <laughs> it's got chlorophyll. It's not like completely white. Um, I have seen the white monsters with like completely white, like the one he's holding here has a lot of white, which it probably doesn't photosynthesize super well, but this one looks very healthy, so. Uh, it must live in a nice greenhouse or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the next plant I'm going to get is the white monster. I'll put it on Instagram when I get it. So you guys know that I followed through with what I said I was going to do. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to end the stream. Rob has a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. 
match. Match. To play tonight. I do have a match to play tonight. And um, he has a YouTube channel now too. So yeah. I thought like a fun idea I had. I, did I, I think I told him this already. Exactly. It's like we finished streaming here on Fridays. I know it's Saturday, but normally I want to stream on Fridays, not Saturday. And then we do like an after stream over on his channel where we just chill and talk about non-plant related stuff. Or maybe you have to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on your channel though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the people here are interested in that, but if they if they are craving the content, let me know, I guess. But I don't think... I don't think the people here really care what I'm doing on my computer when after this is over. I'm just cooking. Yeah, yeah, I get you. All right. I'm going to log off, guys. Thank you so much for all of you joining. It blows my mind how many people watch the stream, so it's super fun. If you want me to keep doing that, make sure to comment that you liked it, and make sure to like the stream as well, because apparently that helps something yeah, somehow. it does. Um, so, yeah. And I'll post the photo of my white monster on Instagram, and... I'll probably have to delete this stream since I showed my email so many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Bye, guys. Right, I'll bye, see guys. you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye. And then go to the stop streaming on the right over there.